So we're going to do some just break falls um, that you can do in your home. Should be pretty simple. Uh, no hard movements, not falling hard in your own living room. Should be able to do this on a little mat. So we're just going to fall backwards, rolling onto our back, just getting used to break falling. Uh, thing to remember to keep your head off the mat. And you're just going to disperse your energy and just kind of just touch the ground with the palms of your hands close to your body. So I'm just going to go back and here. Just rolling. I'm not letting my head touch. Just to do a couple of these. All right. So we'll do one more series like this, just warming up. Uh, this one we're going to do um, a bridge and then just a roll and kind of touch. So what I'm going to do is lay back. I'm going to go hips up. Hands are in still. I'm just going to reach and roll over and try and touch diagonally on the mat. Just here, hips up, roll, touch, go back, hips back down is fine, up, touch, and back. Let's go to the side, we're here, bridge up, reach and touch, back down, bridge up, reach and touch, back down. Good, let's do 10 of those. All right, so we'll also do some shrimps, we're gonna do two leg shrimp and then single leg shrimp. That's it. So we're here laying on our back. I'll do it from this position. What I want to do is I just put my feet on either one side and then I'm just going to push, like roll on my side and push my bottom out trying to reach for my hand, uh, reaching for my feet. And then just pull myself back to center and then just put your feet on the other side. Very slow. Just get all the way to your sides, reaching for your feet. Back to center. All right. From the side, same thing. Feet on the right side, just going to roll to my side and push my hips at the same time, nice and slow. Back to here, back to center. Feet on the other side, push the shrimp all the way over and back. Good. So let's do 10 of those. All right, last one will be the single leg shrimp, very much uh, similar to the first one. We're going to go here. I'm just going to drop one leg down. My other leg's just going to come over just like it did before, and I'm just going to shrimp. It's like I have a dead leg here and I can't use it for anything. And I'll put it back and then switch. And then just make the adjustment. Again, reaching for my feet. Hips go back. So from the side, I'll go here, foot out. Again, I'm just getting to the side. Back. Other leg. And back. Let's do 10 of those. Turn to the left, jump. Uh, slide up, heel kick. One. Uh, two. Uh, three. Uh, spinning heel kick. One. Uh, two. Uh, three. Uh, try up. Yes, sir. Turn to the right, jump. Uh, slide up, heel kick. One. Uh, two. Uh, three. Uh, Spinning heel kick. One, uh, two, uh, three. Uh, Charlie. Yes, sir. Shield. Yes, sir. Good. For blue stripe, you're going to have to do Tosan and Juan Kyo. So we're going to go to the uh, water gardens to uh, work on that again. You'll watch me, and then you'll stand up and go through it with me. Junbei. Junbei! Let's look at that from another angle. Junbei. Junbei!
Come on. Come on. Okay, go ahead and stand up and go through it with me. Jumbe, form one, yo. Circle, bring your feet together, bend your knees, right fist, left hand open, bring together in front of your face, lay your fingers across your right hand, right to your chin, look to your left, cup and saucer on your right hip, step out with your left foot in a back stance, box block, loud ki, grab with your left hand, pull to your right shoulder and chop with your right hand to the neck, left hand to your hip, pick up your left foot to avoid a sweep and punch. Look to your right, cup and saucer on your left hip, step, step, back stance, box block. Grab with your right hand, chop to the throat, bring your right hand to the hip, raise your right foot to avoid the sweep and punch. Look in front of you, draw back cup and saucer to your right hip, step back with your right foot, left foot side kick, set down, back stance, pseudo block. Step forward, back stance, pseudo block. Step forward a third time, back stance, pseudo block. Move your left hand down, step forward, front stance, spear thrust, loud ki. Look to your right. Cup and saucer on your right hip. Step around with your left foot, back stance, box block. Grab with your left hand, right hand chop. Left hand to your hip, raise your foot to avoid the sweep and punch. Look to your right, cup and saucer on your left hip. Box block, grab with your right hand, chop with your left. Chamber, avoid the sweep and right hand punch. Look in front of you, step in with your right foot, out with your left and scoop block with your right hand. Turn it over, back leg front kick, set down, reverse punch. Scoop with your left hand, turn it over, back leg front kick, set down, Reverse punch, front stance, all done in front stances. Cup and saucer on your left hip, right leg, side kick. Hitting with the heel, set your foot down directly next to your other. Step out in a back stance, closed fist pseudo, and again to your right, back stance, closed fist pseudo, loud ki. Come on, and return feet together, knees bent to your alternate Goman Jumbi position for Wanyo and then return to a standard Goman position and say Goman. Kyungye, feet together, hands together, bow. Deep, good bow. Shio, come to a Shio position, thumbs locked, palms crossed, feet shoulder width. Very good. One more time. Jumbe, form one yo. Circle, bring your feet together, bend your knees, right fist, left hand open, bring together in front of your face, lay your fingers across your right hand, right to your chin, look to your left, cup and saucer on your right hip, step out with your left foot in a back stance, box block, loud ki. Grab with your left hand. Pull to your right shoulder and chop with your right hand to the neck, left hand to your hip, pick up your left foot to avoid a sweep and punch. Look to your right, cup and saucer on your left hip, step, step, back stance, box block. Grab with your right hand, chop to the throat, bring your right hand to the hip, raise your right foot to avoid the sweep and punch. Look in front of you, draw back cup and saucer to your right hip. Step back with your right foot, left foot side kick, set down back stance, pseudo block. Step forward, back stance, pseudo block. Step forward a third time, back stance, pseudo block. Move your left hand down, step forward, front stance, spear thrust, loud ki. Look to your right. Cup and saucer on your right hip, step around with your left foot, back stance, box block. Grab with your left hand, right hand chop, left hand to your hip, raise your foot to avoid the sweep and punch. Look to your right, cup and saucer on your left hip, box block, grab with your right hand, chop with your left. 
chamber, avoid the sweep and right hand punch. Look in front of you, step in with your right foot, out with your left and scoop block with your right hand. Turn it over, back leg front kick, set down, reverse punch. Scoop with your left hand, turn it over, back leg front kick, set down, reverse punch, front stance, all done in front stances. Cup and saucer on your left hip, right leg, side kick, hitting with the heel, set your foot down directly next to your other, step out in a back stance, closed fist pseudo, and again to your right, back stance, closed fist pseudo, loud ki. Come on, and return feet together, knees bent to your alternate Goman Jumbi position for Wanyo, and then return to a standard Goman position and say Goman. Kyungye, feet together, hands together, bow, deep, good bow. Shio, come to a Shio position, thumbs locked, palms crossed, feet shoulder width. Very good. One more time. Jumbe. Form one yo. Circle. Bring your feet together. Bend your knees. Right fist. Left hand open. Bring together in front of your face. Lay your fingers across your right hand. Right to your chin. Look to your left. Cup and saucer on your right hip. Step out with your left foot in a back stance. Box block, loud ki. Grab with your left hand. Pull to your right shoulder and chop with your right hand to the neck. Left hand to your hip. Pick up your left foot to avoid a sweep and punch. Look to your right. Cup and saucer on your left hip. Step, step, back stance, box block. Grab with your right hand. Chop to the throat. Bring your right hand to the hip. Raise your right foot to avoid the sweep and punch. Look in front of you. Draw back cup and saucer to your right hip. Step back with your right foot. Left foot side kick. Set down back stance pseudo block. Step forward back stance pseudo block. Step forward a third time back stance pseudo block. Move your left hand down. Step forward front stance spear thrust. Loud ki. Look to your right. Cup and saucer on your right hip. Step around with your left foot. Back stance, box block. Grab with your left hand. Right hand chop. Left hand to your hip. Raise your foot to avoid the sweep and punch. Look to your right. Cup and saucer on your left hip. Box block. Grab with your right hand. Chop with your left. Chamber. Avoid the sweep and right hand punch. Look in front of you. Step in with your right foot. Out with your left and Scoop block with your right hand. Turn it over. Back leg front kick. Set down. Reverse punch. Scoop with your left hand. Turn it over. Back leg front kick. Set down. Reverse punch. Front stance. All done in front stances. Cup and saucer on your left hip. Right leg. Side kick. Hitting with the heel, set your foot down directly next to your other, step out in a back stance, closed fist pseudo, and again to your right, back stance, closed fist pseudo, loud ki. Come on, and return feet together, knees bent to your alternate Goman Jumbi position for Wanyo, and then return to a standard Goman position and say Goman. Kyungye. Feet together, hands together, bow, deep, good bow, shio, come to a shio position, thumbs locked, palms crossed, feet shoulder width, very good. Alright, we're going to work from uh, side control to uh, basically getting to the mount and then how to escape the mount. So um, I'm here in my side control. Um, what I want to do is just position my body so I've got one hand on the hip or both hands on the shoulders is fine. Um, I just want to push myself up into kind of a knee on the belly position. Again, we'll work on this stuff in class, but I just want to be able to transition into my mount, which is really bad. Obviously, I can throw uh, ground and pound elbows and punches and everything from here. So his defense, 
is going to be to um, go ahead and go. He's going to buck me up, so I have to post. He's going to trap, and I'm going to go ahead, just because I'm a good partner here and I want to save myself, I'm going to roll my wrist over. He's also going to trap the same side um, leg here, and then he's just going to buck up and roll me over. So we're going from there. Good. So we'll do it again. So we're here, side control. I'm just gonna look to post up into my knee on the belly, spot into my mount. I'm here, ground and pound. He's fucked. Trap, I roll my wrist, and he rolls over. Good deal. We'll do one more. Right here. All right, so we're in here one more time. We're gonna post up, knee on the belly, spot in to my mount, ground and pound. Bucks, traps, traps, and roll. That'll do it. Okay, what we're going to go through now is Cinewally with a partner. This is heaven stick, meaning all of the all of the strikes are with the tips up and angled towards the clavicle of the neck. So it's a downward diagonal. So it's the same six count that we did earlier, only now we're doing it with a partner. Which is forehand, backhand, backhand, and it switches to the other side. Forehand, backhand, backhand. Forehand, backhand, backhand. Forehand, backhand, backhand. Forehand, backhand, backhand. Forehand, backhand. notice we are in the middle of each other's stick. But one thing I want to point out is if you're doing this on a bag, you cannot do this here because your stick will basically bounce off. So you'll need to come out to where you're hitting the bag with just the tip of the stick so it'll come all the way through. This can be very frustrating on a bag if you're hitting it here. Hit the bag here. But with a partner, you're in the middle. So we're going to work through uh, lapel grabs um, and then just inserting and setting up some throws. So we're not going to actually do any throws on this one or on this test in itself. Um, we're just going to set up and be able to balance our opponent um, and set up our throws. So uh, first one, we're just going to work on the lapel grabs here. Um, so same kind of thing as our front choke. Just want to loosen them up a little bit and kind of work to get on the inside here. So once I'm on the inside, I can go for my shoulder here. I can shoot in uh, under the shoulder. Um, I can wrap around his hips. All these things set up the same. So if I go over the top, I just want to go here. I'm going to scoop my hip over, pulling him in really, really close, and just pick him up, stand up, balance on his hips, or on my hips. Here. So that's one. So same sort of stuff. Um, I just want to be able to get to the inside here. I can slide under, and I can do the same setup. Pick him up on my hips, balance him, and set him down. If I can do this, then I know I can throw. So we'll do another one. All right, so we're going here. I'm going to go in. I'm going to shoot around his hips. Same thing, just scoot your hips over, pick them up, put them back down. Those are going to be your setup. Um, another one that we're going to work on is the reaping throw. So for that one, we've still got kind of the same setup on our grips and everything. We're in here. What I want to do is just slide out and get past him. So I'm going to step beyond his outside foot with mine. So I'm going to step in and step out. Now as I do this, I'm going to be pushing myself forward, and then I'm just going to side kick in between his legs here. I'm not going to take him down today. We're just working the setup. So I'm here. I'm just going to slide in, step out, and then here. Just touch the back of his knee with the back of my knee. This is all we need to do for our reaping throw set. Let's do one from this side. Just make sure we can see everything. So we're here. I'm going to, again, step in, step out, touch the back of his leg. That's going to be my reaping throw set. 